more races are still too close to call in Millard, Elkhorn, and North Omaha. Yeah, the North Omaha seat in the state legislature is on the line between Nick Batter and Ashley Spivey. Right now, you can see how close that is, just a matter of a few hundred votes. KTV News Watch 7's Alex McLuhan watching school board races in Millard and Elkhorn joins us live at the Douglas County Election Office. Alex. Rob Quinesia, these races could break depending on the results that get published between 4 and 5 p.m. tomorrow. Nonetheless, all these cars behind me belonging to election employees who are still counting through votes in the coming days. Local control on the line. Election day continues for candidates in Millard, Elkhorn, and North Omaha. We are watching a couple races for recounts, but there's a lot of ballots left to be counted. The number of ballots left to be counted, 6,765, but an estimated 2,600 ballots are left outstanding. Some that were dampened by the rain, marked by the wrong color of ink, and others that were turned in tattered, which could force officials from both parties to inspect ballots and follow state statute. We try and run those through the machine, but sometimes the machine doesn't like those. The outstanding votes critical across the metro and could trigger recounts. Omaha's seat at the legislature only separated by so many votes in the race between Nick Batter and Ashley Spivey. Crowded school board races also congested. In Elkhorn, three seats up for the taking with four candidates only separated by hundreds of votes. In Millard, another three seats with six candidates close together competing for the third seat in a close race. Can you comment at all on the District 2 House race? The election commissioner also addressing the second congressional House seat between incumbent Dom Bacon, who claimed victory over Tony Vargas. The race separated by only thousands of votes, with more still outstanding in Douglas County. We will count every vote that's been cast properly. Dozens of workers working to certify the election November 21st here in Douglas County required recounts if triggered by any of these close races will start taking place December 4th. Live at the Douglas County Election Commission office, Alex McClune, KETV News Watch 7. All right, Alex, thanks.